Hi right, guys, we're back and it's raining, of course. I uh, hope you enjoyed the first Skype video, the Xmas special <laughs> extended edition. I thought it went okay. Just here with Hatman. Hatman, Hattie, 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 Hattie. Um, don't, don't look at that yet. <laughs> Just wanted to do a short follow up to the uh, to the last video. And uh, it's mainly about something Hatman alluded to. And that was a, a certain chunk error which annoyingly occurred and it happened right on Hatman's sp like spine of his house. Like if you remember his house and remembers the term because it's gone now. But if you were <laughs> I shouldn't laugh about it, but if you remember it it was the house on top of the hill near me. Made out of sandstone. <laughs> and uh he tunneled down and had the, the big ladder with all the different levels. Basically the chunk that that ladder was in, and the ladder was in the very centre of the chunk, reverted. Now, we don't know exactly why, but it's pointing towards a guy, which I haven't mentioned, who we had on here for a short time. The server really struggled whenever he was on, and he did tell me he ran a lot of mods. Now. That shouldn't impact the server, but on the other hand, the server has to recognise that he's got these mods running and things like that. Yeah, we've never had it before, we've not had it since. And the chunk that got reverted was where this guy was. The chunk he was actually stood in. Hatman was giving him a tour of the server. So, uh, for the better interests of the server, that guy is no longer on. That's nothing against the person, in, like, personally. But it's just I can't run the risk of it happening again. Now, Hatman's took it really well. I mean, he put a lot of work into that house, and to be honest, I think I was more annoyed and angry than he was, but there are much bigger builds not to take away from what Hatman had done but where people have spent hours upon hours on the same thing you know not a house of different levels but on just one like one project itself and if that happened again and people lost literally weeks of work that would be terrible I can't afford to run that risk so uh, yeah so where we are now it's uh, Hatman's new area. We had a scout around. I went with him. And, uh, yeah, we've got an extreme hills. Which is what he wanted. He wanted a, a bigger build. Uh, like a potential bigger build. And extreme hills kind of lends itself to that. He's got a swamp nearby. He's got a jungle. He's got... I think it's just beyond the draw distance there, but he's got a snowy biome. The lake, so it's not much different from where it was before. And, uh, yeah, since he likes it, since we're going in, got it settled in quite well. And for people on the server who might be watching this, he wants a well, lot ones, but is requested any like surplus stone, so that he can work on this. Big wall. <laughs> it's looking really cool. I've not really asked him what it's going to be in the end, but I'm guessing some sort of big castle or fortress. And that should be really cool. Now his uh, his portal is synced to the Nether Hub, and he's linked to his uh, original track. So uh, yeah, it's not been that. It's been a big deal, but not that painful of a move. And I think you'll you'll like it here. Seems to. So it's a little, little hob 
hobbit hole. With the basics in. And this is what I like. I like pointless things. So, pointless pumpkin of pointlessness kind of like ticks all my boxes. But there's a button. Now, uh, whenever there's a button, you've got to press it. I mean, regardless. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's as pointless as it says it is, but I like that. That's quirky. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to do a separate video just to address this chunk thing. And as I said before, we're not accepting any more applications at the minute. I'm not going to take the server down off the site, but I will amend it at some point that we're not accepting any more as it stands. That's not final, that's not forever, but just so people know. I'm happy with what we've got on now. We're not really looking for any more. So, uh, like I said in the last video, for the like, intro, I want to keep a few places free just so we've got something to like, utilize if need be. And also, I'm not going to go there, so I want to keep this video short. We've uh, linked to Portal, me and Hatman, to the end. Now I left a sign for people not to use it yet because it was totally uncovered. It, uh, what I mean is it was linked to the Nether Hub. If you use one of the stations we don't need on the lower level. So that people aren't, aren't having to go through Madsen's place because, like I said before, that's a little bit of an inconvenience to him especially now that he's put his portal actually in his house like in the, the castle he's working on if that's the right term you know the, the whole project the whole place so it's not like he just landing in his grounds and then go in there so I thought it'd be better for him for people to have their own way so yes we me and Hatman set up the portal but we didn't have time to put in a track or a tunnel or anything. So I did leave a sign, I don't know if it was a deer to or if anyone even saw it. That said, uh, don't go out there. It's not covered, it's just a cobblestone line with torches on. So that I can find it again. If, if you go out there. The gas is going to shoot you, they're going to blow things up aren't they? So I'm hoping nobody went out there. But now I've finished the portal, the, the tunnel, put a track in, modelled it with end stone, which took me forever to get. There's a sign. Ah, reserved by Hackman. I see, I see. So yeah, that's done now, so I should make it into the end a lot quicker. Get into the ender ender. And uh, Hackman's got a new start in a very cool area. I'd happily set up my main base here. And I've done a little uh, renovation. In fact, I will show you. I'll just cut out a lot of the journey. He's going through anyway. Plus, I want to get out of this rain. This is still in the. So yeah, as you can see, it links to. Oh, no, no, no. But yeah, so that still links to his original place, and he's after any stone. I didn't mean to come here. Yeah, it used to run just a cobblestone line to that torch there, what I left. And then you had to run down and through. You go out there, you're a sitting duck. So now I've put in this. Doesn't look very much from the outside, I don't know if anyone really cares, to be honest. I mean, I'm not sure if Madsen's was styled on the outside or if that's just how it ended up. But that looks good, whereas that doesn't really do anything. But, uh, yeah. So that's all it is. 
Speaking of ghasts. So I'm hoping no one went out there, because they'll have probably died and may have blown some things to pieces. So. Yeah, at the minute it's only really me who has a view of it. And it wraps around that a little bit there, so it's not that big a deal. So yeah, I'll meet you back at my place. Ah, yes, and while I remember. Get this off my chest. <laughs> it's, uh... I've got no problem with people coming and going to my place. Come and visit, that's fine. No problem with that. But, you can't really see it. I'm not going to go all the way around. But there's a just wall of dirt on that side with um, signs on it basically saying this is blocked off for a reason. Now I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before. But if not, now that mobs can go through portals, what I was getting was creepers and everything else spawning out there trying to get to me inside going through and going into the nether now when you go through if there's a creeper he's right there and you've got no way of getting out and he blows the, doesn't blow the portal frame but obviously deactivates the portal and destroys a little bit of the surrounding area someone's been here and I know they have because they put torches all over my wall of furnaces which I'll show you but that one block there was missing don't know if, how that's enough for a creeper to get through, but he did, and again, wiped out my portal, so, da. But yes, things have changed. So just made it look a bit nicer. Carried on this uh, shape all the way around, ignore that. <laughs> just added random bits to catch the eye, just break it up a little bit. I especially like that, I don't know why. Get here, it kind of gives it a whole like everything's curved sort of look. And when I've uh, tore all this out, I'm going to mirror what will be that side with that side. I think it'll look pretty good. Now, this all this is for is uh, the outside. I know. Like eventually the mountain runs out and I'm not underground at this point so yeah if you go through there you're outside so basically this is what I've got to play with in the length of the storage tunnel whatever we're calling it so yeah that's all that is no need to extend yet but, uh, yeah. still works nicely I just added that there just to give it a little I'll explain why that's shaped like that and why it's a bit weird and might change what's up there but that kind of looked like it would that's where a clock would be and that's the best I can do <laughs> so, and that's just a little sign to say this is where the chests are hidden <laughs> so not hidden very well but yeah this the reason this is and I don't know if I'm going to keep it uh, as you'll know from before, under this is all the redstone to power the lights and also the uh, the shutters on the chests. So it's got to go above all that or else it'll be cutting all this stuff off. Now this is alright but I didn't want this stone edge that goes, stone edge that goes around be different heights, I mean that's alright. So in order to get it all at the same height, it's got to all be at this level. But I plan to go out that way at this level. So it seems a bit weird at the minute, but try and imagine that that wall's not there and it goes out that way. So. And uh, Hatman, i still got you my you've been naughty coal piece. Thank you very much from Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, got a ridiculous haul off a of dash. I mean, equipment, armor, tools, diamonds, emeralds, slime, everything. From Madsen, the one that was up there. Uh, oh, actually, did I get the slime off Madsen? I think I did. But the main thing is he got me two more discs. 
no, I can't remember offhand how many there is, but how many is that? That's 12. That's 12 different ones, isn't it? So, I'm looking pretty good. <laughs> so actually, we'll stick, we'll stick far on. Yeah. I'll put away my stuff and we'll call it an episode. Like I said, didn't particularly want anything to happen in this, just to show you like what's been going on. Because uh, the last video was more just geared towards doing the, the caving. And uh, didn't have much time to show what's been happening. So, yeah. Dash, got some fireworks and uh, a bottle of enchanting. Well, a lot of them. <laughs> and speaking of fireworks, me and Dash were planning to do something for New Year's. Uh, planning to do a firework display for New Year's. It all depends on if I can get the uh, the launches happening, like some sort of synchronized or random pattern that we're not having to manually set them off. Dash is, as far as I know, he's, I mean, I've not spoken to him <laughs> since, but he was going to get the, uh, the materials needed to craft the actual fireworks himself, so he's doing that side, whereas I'm doing the, the redstone side. So uh, I'm hoping we can get something in place. If we don't get it in place by New Year's, we can still set one up, I guess. We can have an area where the display will be. Maybe at spawn, I don't know. There's somewhere where we can leave the setup in place and then just load fireworks in whenever we need to. We've got, got an area to, to have a show. So, uh, yes, and with that, like I said, I'll call that an episode. Thanks for watching, guys. and. Uh, Thanks to everyone on the server. I mean, the year's not over yet, and we've only been going a couple of months, but you guys make the server, you guys watching, make it all worthwhile, all that sappy stuff, and it's out of the way. So, uh, hope you all had a good Christmas, and I'll catch you next time.